afternoon, everybody. My name is Serena Winters. I am the sideline reporter for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Thank you guys so much for being here today at the Cadell Recreation Center. I'm thrilled to be your host to, to help you invite you to All-Star Weekend. This is such a special All-Star Weekend event that we have today. If you can see behind me and around me, we have so many special guests that are in attendance, whether it's NBA family members from current and former players, league executives, as well as the leaders of this great community that we're a part of. So we are all gathered here today for a very special purpose. We're celebrating the NBA's commitment to leaving a lasting legacy in the community. And we are honored to be here as part of the celebration of the NBA's 75th anniversary season, which is incredible, and to open the 2000th NBA Care Space where kids and families can live, learn, and play. 2,000 spaces, how great is that? So this new center, which was made possible thanks in part to the strong partnership between the NBA and Kaiser Permanente has transformed three rooms here at the Cadell Center. And I can tell you from personal experience because I just had the blessing to go see these three amazing rooms that you're gonna get to see that the refurbishment is incredible. There's new furniture, computers, tablets, books, games, there's even meditation and wellness equipment upstairs, which is just such a neat space for these kids to be a part of. And all of this was done uh, to brighten spaces and allow the members of this center the chance to have a space to learn, to play, and also to unwind, because at the end of the day, you gotta have some fun, relax, and unwind too. This court that we are actually standing on right now was the first court to be done as part of the Cavs' commitment to refurbish all of the Cleveland Recreation Center basketball courts. How cool is that? Like, this court that we're standing on, this is the first one. And these new rooms that we get to see today are an extension of the commitment that the Cavs have made to the city of Cleveland to help with all of these different refurbishments around the area. And now what you guys really want to see is that we have a lot of people who have come out here to celebrate with us, and I would love to, for you guys to join us as we meet some of them now. So representing Ohio's 11th Congressional District, we have the Honorable Chantel Brown, the member of the United States House of Representatives. <laughs> representing the city of Cleveland, Director of Public Works, Michael Cox. The Commissioner of Recreation, Samuel Gissentaner. A big round of applause for the NBA's Global Ambassador, Dikembe Mutombo. Representing the WNBA, please welcome from the New York Liberty, Banaja Laney. And from the Cleveland Cavaliers, President of Business Operations, Nick Barlich. And I think you all probably know this guard in his fourth season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. To my right, Colin Sexton. We just want to thank you all so much again for being here today. It really is such a big day for Cleveland, for the Cadell Recreation Center, and the fact that you are all here is just you showing your support for this, and we could not appreciate it anymore. So thank you guys so much, and right now, if you can see, we've got some great people behind me, and we're going to turn our attention now to these wonderful gentlemen. Um, please help me welcome the Mayor of Cleveland, the Honorable Justin Bibb. Well, I just want to first uh, welcome the NBA to the great city of Cleveland, Ohio to kick off this important NBA All-Star Weekend. Let's give the NBA a round of applause for being here. You know, um, as a native son of this city, I know firsthand the importance of what this investment and this rec center will do 
not just for our children, but for all of our residents and families across the city. You know, when I was growing up on the southeast side, there were a few places that I could call my refuge, my church, my library, and my rec center, my rec center. And this rec center will be that place of refuge for many of you and your families moving forward in this community. So again, thank you to the NBA and all of our guests for joining us for this special occasion. And I, as the mayor of Cleveland, look forward to a long lasting partnership to move our city forward. Thanks so much and have a great NBA All-Star Weekend. Thank you, Mayor Bibb. To my right, we also have Kobe Altman over here, who somehow I failed to mention to my right. Kobe's obviously the GM of our Cavs. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys don't already, he's done a fantastic job this season. Thank you so much, Kobe. And thank you, Mayor Bibb. Our next guest is a leader in your community. Welcome Cuyahoga County Executive, Armand Budish. Hello, everybody. I'm thrilled to uh, welcome the NBA back to Cleveland, the home of our Cleveland Cavaliers. For many years, certainly for the years that I've been county executive, we've had a great partnership with the NBA. The NBA has repeatedly, repeatedly demonstrated its commitment to our region. Today's a great example. The NBA and Players Association are dedicating a live, learn, or play center here at the Cadell Rec Center, and a second center at the King Kennedy Boys and Girls Club with a refurbished basketball court and new wellness space. In addition, the NBA will be supporting the Greater Cleveland Food Bank, the Kent State I Promise Scholars Program, Cleveland Votes and the Freedom Block, and a whole lot more. But this weekend is not a one-off. When the Cavs made the NBA Finals in 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018, the NBA each time made significant contributions to this community. And we thank you for that. So it's my great pleasure to say thank you to the NBA for all that they do. Thank you for bringing the All-Star Game to Cleveland. I hope you'll come back often. Hopefully, we'll see you again in June. Love that. Hopefully we, hopefully we will see you again in June. Thank you, Armand. Please help me welcome the commissioner of the greatest league in the world of the NBA, Adam Silver. Um, thank you all very much. It's um, really a privilege to be here. Um, I'm in town, of course, for the All-Star Game, but it's these events, um, these projects, where we leave a lasting legacy in the community. You know, the game comes and goes, but when, like with this Cadell Rec Center, when we can help renovate it, create new spaces here for all of you, long after we're gone, you're gonna be able to take advantage of it. And really just addressing these remarks to the young people here today, it's been a really tough two years that we've all just been through. And I think particularly for young people, I have children of my own, and you've sacrificed a lot. You know, even the fact that you have to sit here wearing a mask today, it's not life as we've all known it. And these kind of rec centers, a lot of you have spent the vast majority of the time in your homes over the last two years. You haven't had the chance to be out in communities, as the mayor said, whether it's your church, your library, or a rec center like this. And I just really want to encourage you as things begin to open up again to take advantage of this rec center. I, you know, it's, it's hard to put in words, but there's Magic and I were talking about it before. There's no substitute for being around people when you see, you know, Darius Garland, an all-star, you know, here, the inspiration that you can get from people achieving things at the highest level, you know, 
Irvin Magic Johnson, one of the greatest ever here today. It's not, you can't do that over a computer. And I feel it, it I've been in, unable to do a lot of the things over the last two years that I'm used to doing as well. And I just say to all of you, like, as things begin to open up, don't take it for granted. Come use this rec center, whether you like to play basketball or whether you want to spend your time in the library or the computer center. Being around other people is how you get inspired. And just take advantage of being around all these accomplished people here today, your county leaders, your mayor, this, these people. It's no different than from sports. It's through hard work, discipline, and learning from others. So it's my honor to be here today representing the NBA. We're thrilled to be here in Cleveland and look forward to seeing more of all of you in the next few days. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adam. Speaking of inspiration, I think we can all agree that this next guest has inspired all of us in some type of way. Please welcome an NBA great and member of the NBA's 75th anniversary team, Magic Johnson. God is so good. And what a blessing it is to be here today. I'm so thrilled because I grew up in a place like this. Thank God, back in Lansing, Michigan, we had a center like this that I could go not only play basketball, but also hang out. It was a safe haven. My mom and dad was happy that they knew I was going there because I would be okay. But the one thing that is added that we didn't have back in the day is a technology center. So I want you guys to utilize this. And I want to thank the CAF first for building this incredible gym. Let's give it up for the CAF organization and Dan Gilbert, who is the owner, is a friend of mine and a Michigan State guy like I am, so it's really great. Now I'm going to line some people up for you because this is very important. Stand up, all the young people. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Yes, you too, sweetheart. All right, I want the Congresswoman, come on, let's go. Mr. Saxon, come on. County and, come on, public officials right here. My man who made all the incredible trades, I want you right here, Kobe. Uh, young lady from the New York WNBA team, please come. Motumbo, come on. Now I want to put the mayor right here because he already told you he grew up in the center. Yeah, yeah. Now, come on, Darius. Now, remember this. Look at them because they look like you. Look who's the mayor now. He got his education. It wasn't about he went to a center too. He hooped too, but now he's the mayor. You understand? Get your education. You can, do, you can be anything in life you want to be. Anything you want to become, you can do it right here. Congresswoman, wow. Right here in this building. Set your goals high. I just didn't want to become a basketball player. I wanted to become a businessman. And guess what? I'm a businessman today because I got my education too. So this is bigger than just this center. This is all of you dreaming that I can do some great things in life. And here's your role models. They all different walks in life. I never thought I would come in this building and be the third best guard in this building. Man, I got mad when I seen Mr. Sexton in here and Mr. Garland. I said, man, I'm number three? Wow. Man, normally I'm the best one. And what Kobe has done to build this roster, he looks like you. You got one of the best teams in the NBA 
that can make a deep run in the playoffs. And look, look who built it. Look, he looked just like you. That's why this is important today. The Cavs made an investment in you, in your future. The NBA has made an investment in you, in your future. And look who's here. Look who's here to celebrate you. When a young man came and talked to me when I was at school one day, he was in the NBA, I was like, oh, shoot. I want to be like him. They being, and I was, I've been just like him. He played in the NBA, then he became a businessman. I did the same thing, because I saw him, and, and I saw that he did it, all right? So I was supposed to say a whole lot of different things other than this, but I couldn't, because I saw all these great, beautiful faces that I wanted to make sure you reach your potential. Come to the center, take care of it, it's yours. It's beautiful, okay? Now, I'm gonna do something real quick, because I don't care if anybody gets mad. Come. Come, young lady, all y'all come around, just elbow the whole line. Come on, let's go. The line, come on. Just, no, no, hit, hit, hit there, it's first. Boom, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, because that's how you get your power right there. That's how you get your power. You got to see people are doing it look just like you. Mm-hmm, come on, 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 come on. Come on, sweetheart, keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. We're going to do this real fast, and then your Cav gonna come up. Your all-star getting ready to speak to you. Bam, like that young man. All right, all right, big fella. Yeah, he ready. Uh huh. He ready. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we got a little one. What's up? Hey. All right. God bless everybody. I'm gonna sit down now. God bless everybody. Extra round of applause for Magic Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Now, please welcome Cavaliers and Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse CEO Len Komorowski to the podium. Thank you, thank you, Magic. That was uh, incredibly powerful and. Just maybe think and pause for a second about we're in this industry, you know, sports, right? You all love watching the Cavs play, watching us win. You know, Kobe's done an unbelievable job assembling the team. Darius, all-star, just representing us so well. And there's so many great things that happen on the floor, but the privilege and honor we have and responsibility is what we do with it off the floor. Nothing like sports brings people together, right? It brings you all together in terms of coming to play, get with your friends, engage, compete, all of those things, all of those life lessons. And that's the privilege and honor we have. And we have the privilege and honor and responsibility to work with great partners, we'll be with the mayor, the county executive, Chantel, a, a representative of Brown, and so many others, and an incredibly powerful partner in the NBA. With Adam and his team, an incredible team that they have, we get the honor to be able to, to do and work with you on projects like this and so many others, whether it be today with the food bank, whatever it may be. And that's the, that's, the, that's the beauty of being in our business because we get to touch lives. We get to impact lives. We can either just focus on winning games or we can channel that in terms of making and changing lives and helping lift lives. Our chairman, Dan Gobert, likes to, say, to talk about doing well by doing good and that's what this represents. So uh, thank you for allowing us to be here today. Uh, it's my privilege and honor to bring up an outstanding young man who understands the power of what this facility means to you as a community and so many others and has set an incredible example for all of you here with uh, efforts on the floor but off the floor. And that's uh, Darius Garland. Darius. Hi, um, I'm Darius Garland. Um, it's an honor to be here today. Um, I just, me and my family just like giving back to the community, uh, putting a smile on people's faces. So, trying to put a smile on you guys' face. So, I'm inviting you guys out to a game in the future. Um, free tickets, free snacks. I uh, just want you guys to have fun and 
smile a little bit, have fun. Thank you. Did you guys hear that? He just invited you to a game out there in the future. Yeah! <laughs> Darius, thank you so much for just understanding how important it is to give back to the community that you play in and that you're a part of, and we know it's a long weekend for you, so I know everybody appreciates you being here. So we are now going to officially cut the ribbon that will dedicate the NBA CARES 75th Anniversary Legacy Project at Cadell Recreation Center. Um, for all of our members in attendance right now that are having a seat, if we could ask you guys to remain seated, we'll allow the people behind stage to hedge the ribbon cutting. And thank you guys again so much for being here. This is such an incredible experience. We hope you enjoy the weekend.